I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on- As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, I shall conduct the interrogation myself. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Wait, wait, what? I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoice, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the Consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs at Deesa Place. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Okay, I understand now. Okay. I first thought there, there was an imposter. Well, there is an imposter right now, but... Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Consign it! Get back here! Uh... Where the fuck are you go? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Should I lie to him or tell him the truth? Uh, fuck! <laughs> lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. Don't you dare tell him. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I... In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time... Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. I thought it was the guy that was right there. <laughs> the, the guy who was staring at him, the one with the spear. Oh, like, like he, he, he was gonna come at him too. 
Uh. Where are they? Alright, let me see the map. Okay, uh. I gotta talk to the blacksmith. I need, I need some clothes. Perhaps I'll just use this left in the hmm? Oh, tis you. I'm lagging a little bit. You're Fuck. the good sir who aided me in Melv. Thank you again, sir. You. Oi, sir. We've. Wait, where, where is this blacksmith? Oh shit! Like right behind me. My magics are at your disposal. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Mel? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. You met her. You didn't wash her. Fuck, she, she, how the fuck did she made it that far? Holy shit! That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Is she like some kind of warrior that she can fucking defend her own? Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray. Fuck. There's a what are you doing? Oh, oh you're healing. Here arisen. Fret not. I'll make the plane go away. Best keep still a moment. There we go. Okay. Here you are, sir. From me to you. What? What did I get? Specialization or skills that can be only acquired by pawns. They're not sure it can be beneficial for they allow the pawns to act independently and this can result in an unexpected consequence. However, there was a little patience. Planning. I do care specialization proved very useful in the door. Right. If you like your pawn to learn specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits, tendency and world around you. Sooner or later these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawns to acquire spe spe specialization. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Hello there. What do you I have? have? All manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. What you have, man? I, I need to buy like. How strong is your sword? Ah, oh, shit. You have armor? No, you don't have armor. Fuck. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper. Oh wait, wait, are you, are you the one with armor? Browsing was enough to. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Yes. So if we. Yes, give me, give me a badass armor, shit. Uh, how much is this? What the fuck? Four thousand four hundred four, or four hundred fuck. God damn! I need some pants and a steel jacket. I don't think I could use this, can I? Let me check my pants. Okay, I could only choose three. Only three? Yeah, only three. Fuck. The price, just remember. There we go. Misers die early death. Let me sell, damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. How are we spend money? Wait, the highest. Ah. Uh. Hope to see you again. There we go. Arms for sale. 
Come, have yourself a look. If those fell beasts plunder my next shipment, pray, if you're kind of heart and stout of sword arm, speak to the guildhead Klaus. He'll tell you aught you need to know. Guildhead. Hey. What's the guildhead Klaus? I do not know where am I going. <laughs> oh fuck! I think this is the guild. It looks like the guild. Is it the guild? It's the end. Are you Klaus? Well met. You're not Klaus. Come to shack. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. You know where to find me. This inspires north but misgivings. Where the fuck is the guild at? That's the inn. The guild here? Are you the guild? You're Klaus? Greetings. Oh, you're Welcome Klaus. to the guild hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say. See. There's a warrior, damn it. I wanna get to the fucking the magic spearman. How the fuck I get that bastard? What the fuck? Is this fucking Captain America bullshit here? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Give me a sec. How the fuck do I get the magic spearman? Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or you see, as we currently have no archer staves or and we cannot simply purchase more. As a delivery of arms intended for the lope, so regrettably I cannot assist you. Unless let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Certain vocations are unavailable at present. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? I want to help out, damn it. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. God damn it. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of us. May fortune smile upon you. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. Can I talk to this guy? Look, they were like next to each other. God damn it. How might I be of service? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if we're looking for a craftsman, I'm a master of my trade. Hope to see you again. Well, are you not him? Shit, I thought it was you. Wait, what am I supposed to do? We should start up in a night and coffee with the Captain Grant. At the end. Was now that the end we went? Perhaps if new discoveries oh, this await the end. us above. Oh. Wrong entrance. <laughs> Fuck, I'm kind of lagging. Fuck. Is this? Nope. The fuck it was in my way. Somehow. They're not gonna, uh, like, yell at me because I'm stealing him, are they? Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. Tis not a matter for prying ears. 
pray. Ah, uh, right here? As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of Gob next is half village, west of Vernworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to Colin Infest. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. There were. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. There is surely no challenge to which we cannot rise. Sick. Give me a sec. I have to go all the way back here, David. Job this. Where's the day called? There are polish up places where I can let go of the guard. Holy shit. <laughs> I took a walk all the way back there. With the sun out. Fuck. How much money do I have? Yeah, let's go and fucking rest. Fuck. Underway. Porter crystal. All right. Instantly transport you to the location of a porter crystal. How do I get a porter crystal? Damn it! I need one. Damn it! What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. All right, there we go. There we go. All the way then. Oi there, friend. Who the fuck are you? All I ask is that you hear my request. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my... I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I... That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one cell. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! Uh, now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, 
But I find that time flies when I take a seat. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you. Each car travels with an escort. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue. But enough of my lecturing. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting for you. How are you feed? It is a glorified errand we've been given. But we'd best see to it all the same. Those are. Ah. Uh.